up your balls and you won't get cancer. You can pleasure your balls and also check for cancer at the same time. You can pleasure yourself and also check for cancer at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Pleasure your balls and check them for cancer at the same time. <laughs> Dr. Skinner has just come out from operating with Tom. First of all, was yes. he quiet? Oh, he did very well. He yeah. was quiet. He wasn't. No, no problem at put all. Put him out, and he yeah, was good. He, he had some uh, reasonable music to listen to, and uh, it went very, very well. Okay. And uh, so he, uh, it looks like the lymph nodes appear to be all negative, at least as far as we can tell. Nothing grossly was involved, and we were able to save the nerves. Good. I guess he was really worried about being able to ejaculate properly. Yeah, and I think so. that, that should be no problem. So I feel very good about everything. So it'll be fine. Great. Right. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you. See you later. Okay, bye now. Yeah. Just had to get that ejaculate word. Oh, so everything sounds good. I guess now the next thing is we're going to take a look at the uh, lymph glands. Good. So everything looks well, or looks good. The, um, so you the, didn't find anything weird in there, like, mm, like a GI Joe head or coins. No, or no, or a horseshoe or something like that. No, okay, no, good. we didn't. Um, everything looks really, really good at this point. So apparently he'll be able to ejaculate properly after. Yes. Is concerned about. Yeah, well, I would be too. And no, I, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> so, if you want to see the specimen, yeah, okay. uh, I'll show you. I've got the the, oh. the specimen with some damp towels over it to keep it moist. So, the, those are lymph nodes. Yes. Wow. So, what you're looking at, if I turn this, this would be like Tom is laying down on this um, this tray. Uh -huh. Oh, what is that? That's a lymph node. It feels like like a peanut or yeah. something. Yeah. W where's Tom's testicle? It's in that that bag right there. So it's already been. So Tom's testicle is in that bag right now. Here. Really? Yeah. Can I can I touch that? Or? Oh sure. <laughs> can I can I hold it up? Yes. Sir. Wow. <laughs> so, Crazy! I'm holding Tom's testicle right now. It's so funny. Eesh. Okay, so it's basically cut up the shreds. Well, yeah, it's going to be cut up. It's, okay. You want? You may not be able to recognize it as a testicle. Jeez, it looks like chicken. Well, <laughs> not to me. I, um... I, I, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I... No. Mainly, this is tumor because it's it's very hard. This over here is a little bit spongier, okay. and this is normal testis. Here, feel this. Oh. All right, feel that. You feel how firm that is. Oh my God, does it ever? All it's right, like now, a, yeah. this stuff over here is hard and firm. That's got the tumor in it. See this section right here? Uh -huh. Now that's abnormal. You see how how the the colors vary in that? You got some dark, almost black areas, yeah. dark brown, light brown, so. light tan. Now that is abnormal. That's got tumor in it. Okay. Now that's normal looking testis. Okay. And by comparison, look at again. Oh, there's there's like your, a look at grayish, that's tumor. Purplish color yeah. to it. Yeah. You see the difference here? Yeah. yeah. So that would be hard also if I were to feel it? This? Yeah. 
as opposed to the spongy yeah. testicle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess what we're looking at right here is a, Tom's testicle. With some tumor right here. Some cancerous tumor in it, which is really hard. And uh, I guess this part is really soft, which is still a healthy part of his testicle. It's getting more disturbing, but, <laughs> but I can't well, believe I just did that. Well, thank welcome you. to the Norris Cancer Hospital. I hope you don't ever have to check in here, but if you do, well, it's, uh, at least you're welcome here. It's very interesting. Thank yeah. you very much. You're, you're welcome. Yeah. Thanks again, Dr. You Kirk. bet. It was great. You know, nice meeting you, too. Yeah. Wish you great. the best. Thank you very Wish much. Wish Tom the best. Can we get some firefighters to run by the bed as soon as I wake up? Look up the firefighter thing, seriously. I want to see that the second my eyes open. Well, we just got the news. Uh, Tom just got out of surgery, and apparently everything went really well, and uh, he's going to be all right. So um, the problem is he's a little groggy from the medication and everything. So we only have a couple of minutes to go say hi to him, but uh, let's go and uh, see how he's doing. Oh, hey, man. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we like the bear. I said three firemen, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> these drugs are hilarious. I've got all these crazy visuals running through my head. I had a visual of Dr. Skinner going to a shelf, grabbing a dead dog off of it, <laughs> and then sort of pushing his way through tons of doctors to get to the operating table with a dead dog all folded up. Uh, like, I start to fall asleep, and then all of a sudden I wake up because, oh no, mom, dad, there's a mouse running under my bed with my car keys in its mouth. <laughs> it's crazy. And like, I'm not making this up, there really is a mouse with its car keys. The car keys. Uh, everything went fine, but Dr. Skinner told me that he removed the other testicle by mistake. <laughs> Let's play some more. <laughs> you were playing with my testicle? Yeah, yeah. Doctor let me play with it. How's it compared to playing it with, with it when it's in my body? <laughs> <laughs> well, this one was all shredded. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the, the old days when you used to play with my testicles? Well, seems to be okay. Wait, I'm gonna vomit. Uh oh, get scenario. Uh -oh. Really? Well, no, calm down. Everyone, calm down. Well, you don't want to vomit. Yeah, I, I don't know what the the plan of action is for a vomit. Well, I do. You get a dish. For one but thing. I can't turn my body. Well, I'll do it. Take it. Tom's gonna vomit. They kicked us out because they don't want to get on film. So. I went to a doctor, and he said, uh, you know, let me look at this here. Let's give a huge UF welcome to the host of MTV's The Tom Green Show, Tom Green. I know we're all having a lot of fun. We're having a, a good time. We're goofing around. We're, we're, we're making a lot of noise and stuff like that. But, but the reality of it is here. And there is a reality, OK? And I want to discuss that reality for a second before we get back to having fun. I just had cancer. Cancer? Cancer. 
It was actually, it was, a, it was testicular cancer. I had a ball removed. I had one of my nuts removed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You support Tom Green's nuts. I support Tom Green's nuts. It's a sign there. And you've crossed the S out. Tom Green's nut. Thank you. That's right. You can support them both. The other one's wrapped up in paper towels somewhere in California. <laughs> you know? You know, I'm a 28-year-old guy, and uh, my right testicle's hurting, and I'm thinking, oh, God, that kind of sucks. You know, like, I'll probably go away tomorrow. I, was, I think I was masturbating in the shower when I noticed. <laughs> and uh, I went to a doctor, and he said, uh, you know, let me look at this here. I realized I wasn't at a doctor's office. I freaked out. I got the f out of there. And he told me it was probably, probably got cancer, kid. He said, he said, you know, I'm going to tell you, you know, there's a 50% chance you got cancer. Not cancer, ball cancer. It, it, and that's the thing about this uh, cancer business. It's always, there's always a 50% chance of, of something or other. So, you get to go home sort of scared shitless, but sort of like, ah, you know, 50-50, you know, whatever. It's a coin toss. I went to a sperm bank at one point during this whole ordeal, and uh, I'm paying like $250 a year now to keep like a vial, a test tube of this stuff frozen. After you, you know, start paying $250 a year, you kind of value it a little more, and you're not going to just be squirting it against the tiles of your bathtub for, for no reason, you know? very common disease, though, among young people. Uh, in fact, you know, you, you think, God, oh, the guy's 28, he's got cancer, that's crazy. But in fact, the only time you can get uh, nut cancer, ball cancer, is uh, between uh, 16 and, and 35 years old. So, you know, I think all of you young men here tonight should start rubbing your balls uh, every day, <laughs> if you're not already. Does anyone have any questions or anything? Did the doctors let you keep your other ball? You know, um, I wanted to keep the other ball. I really did. We wanted to put it on a microphone and go interview people, you know? <laughs> Hello. What do you think? What do you think of Pete Sampras? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Is there anything that Glenn could do to examine or diagnose oh. or assess the situation in my testicle? Yeah, I think so. Because I feel that he's the only man that could... Uh... Get up on the stage. Glenn. Oh, wait. Glenn's getting excited. All right, I think we got to go. That's it. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much. So that's it. That was right. it. You made it. Yeah. Did you're it. Okay. Yeah. Looks like all the cancer has been removed from my body, and that's mm. our happy ending. Yeah. I'm recovering. You're recovering. You're feeling. I'm recovering better. from the surgery. I've started my own cancer fund, the Tom Green's Nuts Cancer Fund. Mm -hmm. Uh, so kids, get some cash and mail it to the address on the screen to Tom Green's Nuts Cancer Fund. And remember, uh, the more money you send, the less chance you have of getting cancer. Yourself. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not sure if that's the way it works, yeah. but... Uh... So, good night, everyone. Uh, that's the end of our show. Hopefully my cancer won't come back, and I won't die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys, feel your balls. That way you won't get cancer. Hey, boys, rub your balls. That way you won't get cancer. Rub your balls, squeeze your balls, tease your balls, please your balls. Let's try and repeat that all together. How about while the men in the crowd uh, feel their balls beneath their pants? Stand up, you two stand up. Look at you guys cuddling away. It's disgusting. Okay, Josh, I'd like you to loosen your belt and put your hand in your pants. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, there we go. All right. Woo! Hey, boys, feel your balls. That way you won't get cancer. Hey, boys, feel your balls. That way you won't get cancer. Rub your balls, squeeze your balls. Please your balls, tease your balls. Okay, everyone sing this time, okay? Okay, let's try and go. Okay. Hey boys, feel your balls. That way you won't get cancer. That way you won't.